Ricochet. Barrett. Uh, oh. My goodness. It's not even a full year. You guys have been teammates together. How did this happen? Start with you. Uh, wow, I don't know where to start. Um, I guess I'll start with McDonald's all American game. Before the freshmen got a feel for each other. From the start, once we got here during the summer, the chemistry was like just there. Dyer Williamson. How would you analyze his game? I love his game. I like him on the defensive end more because if we miss an assignment or something, he goes up and gets the block and, and saves us all from getting, you know, yelled at by coach. But, you know, he can do everything on the court. He, he's not just a dunker, and that's what I love about him. Ultimate competitor, when it comes time to win, uh, you know, I know he wants to win, and he's an all-around player. He can really shoot the ball off the dribble with the spot up. I don't know, it's just something about him wanting to win so much that I just, I like it, like, I want to be a part of that. Right, we were kind of goofing a little before about the size of his arms versus the size of yours. How intimidating is that when you're on the court, when you see someone as strong as he is when he's coming down the lane? You don't want to take a charge. Uh, <laughs> I thought I took a charge once on him in practice. I'll never do that again. What did it feel like? <laughs> it just hurt. I was slow getting up. <laughs> but not, you know, when you see him coming down the lane, you just want to move out the way. What about him? He looks a little stronger than maybe a little perceived here. Oh, yeah, don't let his uh, body fool you. RJ will get to go from the three-point line in one dribble and a half-court offense. He'll take these long steps, and he'll be strong with the ball, and he finishes through contact very well, and I think that's why he gets a lot of and ones A lot of people on the outside want to project what you two should be doing. Oh, they shouldn't be at Duke. Zion should already be playing in the league. How much are you enjoying and having this opportunity to actually be a freshman in college with teammates like you have at Duke. I always knew I would go to college. Even if they would have had like the NBA role still, I still would have came to college. You're never gonna get this experience again. Like, you know, once you go to the league, it's, it's grown men now, like with kids, families. It's not just, you know, teenagers having fun. Like, it's, it's business then. You guys obviously were mortal because you've lost. I'm going back to the Gonzaga game in Maui where people assumed you would steamroll everyone. What did that one game do for this team when you had to suffer a setback that early on? I th what you just said, that's kind of, that's like the social media doing its thing. After we won our first game, we said, guys, like, there's 40 more games. We said that in all our interviews. But all people saw was the score, and they would try to hype us up to be invincible. But, I mean, this is college basketball. Like, we're freshmen, like, not making excuses for why we should, like, it's acceptable to lose, but teams like Virginia, Gonzaga, they're great teams. Nobody has the invincible trait. But we just try to like, learn from that game, and by the time March comes around, hope we be at our best. Here's Allen driving in on Kaminsky. Cook. Oh, what a shot. Tyus Jones launches the three. Oh, this kid. And the Blue Devils are the national champions. So there's a lot of parallels with this team in 2015. How much has the coaching staff brought that up, well, the way your freshman class is really tight, the way maybe 2015 was? This is why we came to do it. Coach K does not compare people. Yeah, he says that we're like closest to some of the teams he had, but if we want to try to win a national championship, we have to be close with the team we're on now. That obviously had three big time freshmen. The one that last one that started had four that won a national championship was 2012 Kentucky. They had Anthony Davis, Michael Gilchrist. They went one, two in the draft. It's not easy to do. What makes this group, you think, special enough that it could win a national championship leaning on so many freshmen? Just because we're talented doesn't mean that, you know, we're not going to work hard. We work together. We play defense. That really sets up our offense. That's really what it comes down to. When you have talent to go with the work ethic and a great coach, that's a great formula for success. I mentioned the Davis kid Gilchrist. They went one, two. There's obviously a good chance that could happen. What would that mean to you because you guys have become so tight if in some order that occurs in June? We'll definitely be happy for each other. Uh, whoever, you know, goes one or two doesn't really matter to us. I'm going to be happy for my brother. We've both been working for this for a long time, so we're just happy to see each other succeed. I know we have a long way to go to get there, but what will it take to get a championship for Duke? The brotherhood, like, Playing as one, being sharp, playing defense, working harder than the other team, and just listening to Coach K. Nothing about this will be easy. It just takes one game to lose. Like everybody knows that. In what way will you define a successful overall freshman year? Winning the championship, really. That's the main goal. So if, if you don't do that, then you can't really say that you succeeded. Individual goals and stuff like that's not important. It's like. 
Everybody comes to college and try to win a national championship, and I think that's the final goal for everybody on this team.